YouTube, what it do, man? It's your boy Josh. We back up in this thing with another one. We woke up this morning. It's another beautiful day. All praise to the Most High, man. Let's get it. Hey, bro, as a man that has gone through a season of depression, and the most of the men that I work with go through things like depressions and things of that nature, I would tell you the one thing that will keep you in a, de in a depression, keep your life feeling like it's stuck on hold, feeling like there's nothing you can do, the worst thing that you could possibly do is have an idle mind, is to be idle, is to, is to be completely still and not do anything. You see, a lot of us, we, whatever the source of our depression is, to counter it, the depression puts us into a position where we, we crave comfort the most. We crave sticking to ourselves and not moving the most. We want whatever can bring us comfort because of something that is bringing us so much discomfort. And I'm here to tell you guys that an idle mind is the devil's workshop, bro. An idle mind is the devil's workshop. When we are just stuck with ourselves, stuck with just nothing but our thoughts, not moving in life, our thoughts within ourselves become louder and lighter, louder and louder the more idle that we stand. The longer that we accept that this is just like what life is going to be. The longer it takes for us to realize that the only thing that's going to bring us out of this season of depression is ourselves. We cannot look at anything else to bring us about it. The only thing that will get us from having an idle mind or to stop being idle in general is if we just move. If we continue to move. If we continue to not let something shackle us down and hold us slave to it. Don't, it's one thing to be in a, de, in a depression, but what, what makes it worse is that we become slave to it. We actually think that what put us into that depression is actually th true. We actually start thinking that we got no control over our lives. We start thinking that there's no hope. The longer that we sit there, the more we believe things like that. And I'm here to tell you as somebody that's been through it, as somebody that has understood what it's like to be in that sort of situation, the worst thing you could possibly do is cower down to it is to submit to it, to allow it to wreak havoc through your mind and then the, and in result wreak havoc through your life and making you feel worse and worse about yourself. I want men to be feeling the best they possibly can about themselves. I want them to be the best that they best version of themselves they possibly can be. But I'm here to tell you that if you're idle, that is the perfect opportunity for the devil to go ahead and prevent you from doing what God has called you to do. Because if you go up against the idleness, if you if you say, I'm tired of allowing this to control my life, I want to step into taking control of my life. I want to step into being the best version of myself. That's you stepping into what God has called you to do. Because he only put one person like you. You are one of one. I might get that John tatted on me, bro. One of one, bro. You bring a specific purpose. You bring a specific impact that only you can do, that nobody else can get from anywhere else but you. The world needs to feel your, 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 your impact. The world needs to feel that you are here. And when we allow the idleness and we accept comfort to continue to shadow over our life, bro, the less likely we'll believe that we can step into the purpose God called us to be, bro. Don't isolate yourself. Don't allow your mind to just not be productive and not focusing on trying to make something better. Because when you, when you give your body nothing to do, when you give your mind nothing to do, it slowly starts to deteriorate. When you don't use your body, your muscles start to deteriorate. Same thing that happens with your mind. Same thing that happens with your thoughts. That's why it's so pivotal, so important for you guys to be working towards your purpose. Getting up and doing something, being proactive. It ain't about, oh, I'm, it, what's the point of trying? I ain't gonna get no results anyways. I ain't gonna, get, the, the fact is you trying is you stepping closer to what God has called you to be and you're stepping away from whatever sort of depression that is casted upon you. If you want to defeat that, bro, you got to get to moving. You can't allow yourself to be isolated. You can't allow yourself to be idle anymore. You have to take control of your life and take action. Start walking. It's going to be uncomfortable. It's going to feel weird at first. 
But it's either that or we're just going to continue to live this hopeless life that we've been living and continuing to feel bad about ourselves. As somebody who's been through it, man, find out what is causing you to feel so bad about yourself. Find out what the source is, what the, where the source is that's got you feeling so bad about you. Cut it out from you. Get rid of it. If it's the alcohol, put the alcohol down. If it's the weed, put the weed down. If it's the gambling, put it down. It's not worth your life. It's not worth you thinking whether or not you're worthy of being on this earth or not. You are worthy of being on this earth, bro. You can't, like God didn't put you on this earth so you could be miserable forever. He put you on this earth so you can persevere. And so that you can inspire others. So that you can basically show that if he can do it for me, why can't he do it for you? That's what I'm doing for y'all, boys. I know what it's like to not feel confident. You want to know one quick way to continue to feel not like you're not confident? To con continue to stay idle. Continue to stay comfortable. Continue to stay in this mindset that, oh, somebody or something is just going to automatically poof and it's going to make life better. No. Life is not going to be better unless you decide to make it better, unless you decide to move forward, the, unless you decide to stop being idle. I know it's hard, fellas, but the only way that you can get confidence is by putting the work in. If you don't put the work in, you're going to start feeling worse about yourself. You're going to start allowing these negative thoughts to come, come into your mind. What I want you to do is I want you to go in and put the work in and then reflect over your, reflect over your day and then feel confidence. Realizing that, man, I just did that. I'm still here. Yeah, it was hard, but I know for a fact that it's going to get me better and I'm headed in the right direction. I want y'all feeling confident each, each and every single day. More confident each every day. For each time you put some work in, you feel a little bit better about yourself. You can't feel better about yourself if you're not doing nothing. You can't feel better about yourself if you're staying still. You will never know what you are capable of until you decide to get on the road and go, bro. You'll never know how fast you can go until you decide to get on the road and go, bro. You over here sitting there, saying a whole bunch of excuses for yourself. All just to, and you're telling yourself these excuses all just so you can be comfortable. Also, you don't have to do anything. Also, you just don't have to take action. If you continue to set yourself the excuses for yourself, you can best believe your life will continue to stay the same. But the second where you want to sit there and hold your, the second you hold yourself accountable, Realize that you you deserve more than this. That you can get better than this. That this is not what life is. A, this is not what life is a, a, going to amount to be. Life is going to be something greater, and you're going to make it something greater. Hold yourself accountable to a different standard, a higher standard. Don't try to lie to yourself saying, "Nah, I don't even really want to be jacked. I don't even want to. I like my body the way it is, or I like the way that my money is the way it is, or I don't need that and I don't need this." All because you're scared to get out of your comfort zone. But yet you going home every single day, can't even look at yourself in the mirror, thinking the worst possible thoughts about yourself. Telling yourself that you are not worthy. Come on, bro, would you drive? Some folks out here don't know how to drive, bro, I swear. Come on, dog. At the end of the day, nobody's gonna care for you to get out of that depression that season of doubt, that season of feeling unconfident, nobody's going to care more about that situation or getting out of that situation more than you will. So for, for you looking to the answers, thinking some, some random girl is just going to pop up at your front door that's going to get you out of your depression or some random guy that's going to offer friendship to you is going to pop you out of your depression. If you think that's what it's going to be, it's by some sort of luck, by some sort of miracle that God is just going, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to just bail him out to where he can just stay comfortable and make his life better. I'm going to just... Come, no, stop allowing yourself to believe some sort of unrealistic scenario. Stop letting your naive mind thinking or allowing you to stay in your comfort zone, thinking that life is just going to come to you, that life is just going to solve itself, that you don't have to do anything. You are choosing to be a slave to yourself. Each day you choose to be idle. Each day you choose to be idle, you allow the devil to do his work. Let him fill your thoughts up with negative things about yourself. Got you doubting yourself. Got you not wanting to try, bro. 
Don't lie to yourself. Realize that we are feeling this way because we haven't put enough work in. That God is calling us to put some work in. We are in this situation for a reason. Not so we could get worse, but so we can get stronger and we can get better from it. I'm an epitome of it. The only way that I can speak this is through my own experiences. And that, as, as somebody who has gone through this, what I want to do is just help the people that are going through it right now get on up out of it. Because that's not what life is all about. This is not, what, this is not the end of it. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. There is something you can look forward to. Life can get better than this. This is not the re this is not what we can expect for the rest. Some people are just sitting there thinking that this is what life has all this is what life has to offer. A hell on earth. We can get more. We can receive more. We can be more. But we can't do that the second that we choose to be idle. And the second that we start to give excuses to ourselves and lie to ourselves that this is okay when all actuality we know deep inside that it's not. So, with that being said, that's all I got for y'all boys. If you guys need a consultation, link down below in the description. If you guys need a training program, link down below in the description. If you guys want to reach out to me on Instagram, man, send a question or say what's up to me, I can be reached at Instagram. Link down below in the description, man. If you guys uh, don't need any of those things, before you guys go, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share the video. I'm going to holler at y'all boys.